Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the editor utility widget spawn actor from object node. So here's our spawn actor from object node. We need to make sure in order to use it, we have the editor scripting utilities plugin enabled. So if you don't, you're not going to find this node. Now, if we typed in spawn actor, you'll find a couple different spawn actors. Now, the important thing to note here is we want the one that's under the level utility spawn actor from object. Thankfully, at the time of the recording, Unreal Engine 4.22, there's no way to spawn an actor from an object inside of the project while it's running, but there may be in the future. So make sure you have the correct node that you're using. Now, this is going to take in an object to basically duplicate and then a new location and rotation for it and then return back that new actor object that is created. Now, this is important to note the difference between the actor from object and the actor from class is this needs an existing object. So if I go in here and I run my example, I'm going to hit spawn act from object. Well, nothing's going to show up. If we look at our actor log, you'll see why. Spawn actor from object, object to use is not valid, attempt to access index zero, blah, blah, blah. Using our normal nodes and our normal blueprint, basically we told it to grab whatever selected, which I had nothing, grab the first version of the I'm selected, and then spawn actor, which basically is null. There's nothing in here. If we look at here, you notice there's nothing selected and we're not passing in anything. So this is going to fail. So keep that in mind. Now, if we grab something, let's say we grab our little utility widget here. And let's move it over here so it's not in the middle. And we run our spawn actor from object. You'll notice we get it. We get a new object spawned in. We get no errors. Our output log says it spawned it in. And we have our object in our world like we expected. If we were to, for example, use something that existed, like we had some level layout, or in this case, maybe these are some coins or some items that I want to duplicate for pickups, you could really easily just simply, hey, I want one here and maybe make a system that gives you a lot more control. Now, there is something to note about this one. You're going to spawn it from the object that exists in the world, and that's important to note. So let's delete these. Let's drag in a cube. Now, notice our cube is a static mesh actor. I'll put it here, and I will spawn it, and you'll notice nothing. We did duplicate the object. We did take our static mesh actor and we made a new static mesh actor. It doesn't copy the properties. It doesn't copy the changes in our instance. This is a static mesh actor. However, it's got the cube, which is changed out here. Our new item that we copied, that we spawned from this original object to use here, is a stack mesh actor, but it has no stack mesh set, no value set, no rotation. Like for example, if we were to resize this to something like that, you'll notice it's got a settings of four, two, and two. If we were to spawn it into our new one, you'll notice it's got all the original scale values. So that is something to keep in mind. It's gonna duplicate the object as it is based on basically the class or the object type. And it's gonna keep all the default values. So if you need something to look different, Use something like a blueprint where you've already modified the original. And all this is doing is it's grabbing this blueprint class and then making a new copy of it every single time you spawn. Rather than this one, which is just a stack mesh actor that happens to already be preset inside of our system. But it's still just a static mesh actor. It's making a copy of these things right here. So keep that in mind. That's going to be your biggest issue when you're trying to create something from here. If you run into an issue just trying to duplicate something in the world that you've been you've manipulated it's not going to copy the manipulated contents that's it that's our spawn actor from object node used in our editor utility widget